Hello, Jeff Cowan here from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. Thank you for watching and listening, and welcome back to my new video series called What I've Learned About Life and Business from Watching and Attending 35 Indy 500s. And today we're ready for lesson number nine, and here's what it is. Determination is the only word that can explain how Dan Weldon won his second Indy 500 in 2011. When most drivers have contracts in hand to drive their cars months before the start of the racing season, Dan Weldon found himself in a contract dispute with his then current team just eight weeks before the start of the 2011 IndyCar season. A team he had finished second with at Indy in both 2009 and 2010. When it appeared the dispute would not be handled prior to the start of the 2011 season, his team released him. With all the cars having drivers assigned to them, and at that late stage, Dan Weldon found himself without a car to drive, but he was determined. When asked what he thought his chances were of driving the season that year, he replied, bleak, but he continued, I'm determined to have a car for Indy that can help to put me in the winner's circle once again. So he and ex-teammate and former driver Brian Herta teamed up when Herta started a new team and hired Dan as the driver. Now, new one-car teams rarely do well at Indy, but Weldon was determined to qualify well for the race, and he did, starting sixth out of 33 cars. Weldon was determined to be in contention the whole race, and he was, never leading, but staying in the top ten most of the day and always right behind the leaders. He was determined. As Dan entered the final lap of the race, he was in third place, and he quickly made a pass for second place. He was determined. With the leader now in his sights off of turn three, just 400 yards or so ahead, Weldon was determined. Then, race leader, leader and rookie driver J.R. Hildebrand hit the fourth turn wall after trying to pass a severely slowing car. As JR slid toward the finish line, a determined Dan Weldon passed him with just 100 yards to go to the finish line and won his second Indy 500. In doing so, he became the only winner to win the race having only led one lap. He was determined and his determination paid off. Lesson learned? Determination does not stop at the birth of an idea. Determination is needed at both conception and execution for it to result in victory. Your determination must increase with each step you take forward in your goal if you wish for your goal to be realized. Hey, Jeff Cowan here from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. Thank you for visiting today and watching this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with lesson number 10. Have a great day.